Hello, this video is brought to you by the StreamingAdvisor.com, and I have something very exciting to show you, and that is Plex. Plex is now available on the Apple TV. Now, that's the new Apple TV, not the old Apple TV, which is why it looks so different right here with the kind of cream silver color background and so on. Here's how you add it no hacking, no nothing, no trickery. Just go into search. And you don't have to put much. Looks like we got the PL before it came up, but let's just show you. Well, starting with P, there it is, right next to Periscope. So, you just add Plex right here, and there we are. Um, if you don't have it already, of course, you're going to have to sign in. You download, sign in. It's no big deal. If you've already got a Plex account, sign in with your Plex account. If not, just create one, but it's probably easier to do that on the website. But here, before we get too far in, let's go ahead and get her opened up. Okay, first of all, you start off at this beautiful home screen. Now, if you already have movies and things loaded, this is what you're going to get. If you don't have anything loaded, you're to get a pretty blank screen at home. But this is the home screen. It breaks it up into movies as and TV shows, however you have them categorized, and creates little folders for you. So we look at music. And we have Discover, which is just going to pull from your stuff. All. This is whatever has been recently uploaded. Look at the beautiful artwork they have. Just beautiful. Navigates just like you would expect with the Siri remote. You can start playing it right from there. But you see it organizes it by genre, which is really excellent because this helps you find something that you want. So it's not like just pulling something out, you know, randomly out of your collection. However it's organized is how it will be organized on the screen. And it's easy to read, at least if you can read black on white or black on cream, whatever color that is. Metallic silver. <laughs> so it breaks up into decades. The best mix of the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and 2000s, and 2010s. I believe they call that the alts. Here we've got them by folder, which is basically the names of the bands. And that is that. That That is the way that the music looks in Plex. But in general, I mean, I love, I just love the artwork. Look at those nice, big posters. It's got straight movies. Yeah, this is just an excellent skin, and, it, and it's different than any other skin I've seen. And and as with other apps on Apple TV, at least the new one, you can do the little movie thingy. Ooh, it sort of has that 3D thing going on. You probably can't tell very much in the video, but I mean, you got the sheen. It's like there's something you know reflecting off of it. I mean, it's just a very cool effect. And they carry that right over into the app, which is neat. It looks like Apple TV is going to be all about that branding. Another Earth. That's actually a very interesting movie. At least I thought so. But that's just me. But, I mean, just take a look at it. it just, this just looks really wonderful. Just really wonderful. You bounce back and forth in and out of the menu by pressing menu that's going to bring you to your sections looks like we don't have anything by collection and this is just basically an alphabetical order of everything by folder is going to be the most sort of table of contents like section of Plex aside from searching I like how it gives you so many ways to search. Let's see. Let's see. PG. We'll 
will keep this family friendly. Hmm. I smell documentary. Okay, so that is what it looks like as far as media organization. I think it's just absolutely beautiful. I like the classic movie posters. It's just, you know, I mean, it harkens back to an era that's, you know, long before me. But there was a certain kind of art involved with these that's, you know, that's different than your modern stuff. They look kind of like, you know, watercolors. And that's very pretty. So, that is how that works. Going to TV shows, it does the same thing. It's going to set you up with the artwork. This is all pulled right from the internet. All you have to do is load your media in, and you get this. Plex sets it up for you from IMDB and other sources. It's just great. It's just metadata. Click on a show. Let you know who it is. But you're probably familiar with Plex already. But that's just, you know, like I said, I'm just giving you an idea of what it looks like. And it looks just completely different. And of course, what's Plex for most people these days without channels? And that's what we're going to show you next. So let's get out of here. Get out of that. And that. Okay, so the channel section of Plex on the Apple TV's latest edition have a very different look than they did on the other devices that we've demonstrated Plex on, the Roku and the Fire TV. It's a very, very different feel. It looks more like the rest of Apple TV. You notice Apple TV is broken up into all the big app squares, basically. And so the channels are the same way, and you can you know, manipulate them the same way, and it's just, you know, I just noticed something, that shiny, reflective thing actually kind of mimics what your thumb is doing, that's cool, so if I go down to the left, and up into the right, okay, that's neat, okay, sorry, I got off on a tangent there, but one of the best things about Plex channels, even on Apple TV, is that you can add some things that you might not necessarily be able to access, like this CBS channel for Plex, you can actually access information from their website. So shows that are out these days, you can get to them via the Plex channel and then watch episodes of it. I'll just show you how to start it off real quick. So, I mean, you can, you know, fit forward. It's going to do a little buffering. A little, because of uh, the, the nature of the way it transcodes. But, in general, these are neat options. A lot of people are familiar with film on. So Plex channels are just a whole nother element of Plex. So you have your great media organization stuff, and you have the channels that you can then add in through things like the channel store through your Plex Media Center. It helps to have this on a computer already. I'll just put it that way. But that, my friends, is Plex on the new Apple TV. I think this is very exciting. There's more to come from all of these app producers. And I can't wait to see what's next. We'll bring it to you here on the Streaming Advisor. Same Streaming Advisor time and channel. So, keep checking us out. Share these videos. Subscribe if you like it, and I hope you do. Share this with your friends. Let them know that there's somebody out there who wants to teach about streaming without talking down to people. I can't I can't stand I cannot stand people who talk down to people. Thank you. And stream on my friends.